This is my version of banana cream pie. First the crust. In goes the cold butter, bananas, flour, and salt. Once we have a consistency like dough, like this, we can start rolling. This will help add layers to the crust. This goes to the fridge for 30 minutes. After the dough relaxes, it is ready to be rolled. the pie with a fork as well as the sides and then we prep for blind baking. Goes onto the oven at 400 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. When you take it out of the oven, the crust should just start browning. Let it cool to room temperature. So now it's time for the cluster. Medium heat, add the evaporated milk, condensed milk. Be careful with this stuff, it can make things way too sweet. Less than half a can. In with the cinnamon. And close. Combine to avoid burning. Whisk until the eggs turn pale, like so. Temper the eggs by adding the mixture slowly, about a third, and then into the pot. Strain the mixture and add it to the crust. With the oven at 350 Fahrenheit, we are going to bake the pie on a water bath so that the custard doesn't split. The pie stays in the oven for an hour or until it's set. In the meantime, we work on the caramel. For the caramel sauce, we're gonna use padella, which is uh, unrefined sugar cane juice that has been crystallized. We add the panela into a pan with just a little water to help combine at medium heat. Once it starts caramelizing, it will make it easier to see the bottom of the pan when you stir, like so. Now we add a shot of rum. Be careful as it tends to flame up. Once the fire dies down, stir it up to combine. The alcohol tends to change the composition of the caramel. Add a wedge of lemon. This prevents the sugar from crystallizing. After an hour, we check on the pie. Just to make sure, you can use a thermometer 
Cost her start setting between 70 to 80 C's. This one is ready. All right, now so for the finishing touches. Cut two medium bananas at one centimeter thick. They should cover up the pie nicely. Finally, add the syrup, just enough to cover the bananas. Okay, now, so now this goes into refrigerator for at least one hour. Always a nerve-wracking step, cutting the pie. Okay, so here is a slice of my banana pie. Yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm actually quite proud of it, so. <laughs>